let me start by saying, do not let anyone tell you that niching down as a freight broker or freight agent is a mistake. Let me tell you why I'm talking about this topic today. Over the weekend, quick story, over the weekend, I was on TikTok. Yes, I was on TikTok. And I ran across a gentleman, he will remain unnamed. And he was saying that it was a huge mistake to niche down as a freight broker because you're going to limit your opportunity. You weren't going to be able to make as much profit. You were going to miss opportunities with potential shippers. And he went on and on and on about it. And it really hit me wrong. First, let me start by saying that this is my opinion and don't take it the wrong way, but I think this guy's a complete and utter moron. There's a very high probability that he's never built a successful business, let alone a successful freight brokerage or freight agency. Please be careful who you get your information from. You know, there's a lot of people out there pontificating or trying to get your attention or trying to say ridiculous things on social. We all know that. And so please just be very careful who you get your information from online. Okay. Now, secondly, I've done over $200 million as a freight broker and I've met and trained over 10,000 brokers and agents in my career since 2003. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that niching down can literally double or triple your odds of success as a freight broker or freight agent startup. So this is my opinion, but I have seen a lot of people come and go over the years. And one of the biggest issues that they have is they fail to find their freight niche. They try to be a jack of all trades, master of none. And that is a huge mistake. You may have heard me talk about this before. So today I'm going to share with you three reasons why freight brokers and freight agents must niche down if they're serious about building a successful freight broker or freight agency business. Okay. So lean in really quick. Cause I'm going to go over three. I'm going to go over these quickly. Number one, niching down allows you to stand out from the crowd in any marketplace, you're always going to have competition, right? The key is to learn how to stand out from the crowd. Envision this, envision a big bunch of yellow bananas, right? And they look great. And then one purple banana sitting in the middle. I want you to think about that for one second. That's you. That's how you need to figure out how to differentiate yourself and stand out from the crowd. And by niching down, there is less competition. Let me give you an example. When I first started as a freight broker, in 2003, our niche was van, was Northeast outbound van freight. So if it originated in the Northeast, New York, PA, New Jersey, all the way through New England, and it went West or South on a van, that was our niche. Now we niche down into that niche because it, we just went after generic van freight and we said, Hey, we specialize in van freight going from anywhere to anywhere. That still would have been a niche compared to some people who try to do everything. But the reality is it allowed us to focus our efforts. It allowed us to really niche down and eliminate a lot of the competition. Okay. Cause there's way less competition for Northeast outbound van freight than there is just van freight in general. Right. And that's number one. Number two, Listen carefully, niching down positions you as an expert in your niche versus just another freight jockey smiling and dialing on the phone, all right? Would you rather be viewed as a freight jockey or an expert? Well, if you wanna be an expert, you need to niche down. And the reason why this allows you to do this is because focusing on a niche it allows you to become better at serving your niche and then it allows you to, which is more likely to be seen as an expert as a valuable resource, as a trusted partner. Number three, niching down will allow you to grow faster. Now, this is where the gentleman and I part company. He believes that it's going to hurt your growth. And I'm a huge advocate of niching down because it will allow you to grow more. Let me get into more detail. All right. First part, niching down allows you to better identify your ideal customer. Listen to that. Very important. Not every customer is in your niche, right? So you don't want your focus to be too generic. You want to niche it down, right? So that deep understanding that you will get about your ideal customer by narrowing down and focusing on them allows you to create better and more compelling messaging that will convert better in sales and marketing. Let me give you a perfect real life example. In my freight broker sales accelerator, which is my 
Freight Broker Sales Coaching Program, right? We talk a lot about creating a compelling sales hook. And when you create that compelling sales hook, the, the objective there is to get your prospect's attention during the first three, four, five seconds of that call when most people get rejected during cold calling or cold emailing, okay? So it goes hand in hand with that. Next, by niching down, you're gonna be able to focus all of your sales and marketing efforts on speaking only to and directly to your ideal shippers, okay? So when you can do this, you are going to increase your conversion, okay? When when I focused on Northeast outbound van freight, we didn't have to learn everything about flatbeds. We didn't have to learn everything about refrigerated freight. We didn't have to learn about drayage. We didn't have to learn about freight that was originating in California or Texas or Florida. That didn't matter to us. It allowed us to focus not only on building those customer bases in that niche, but it allowed us to build the carrier bases that were allowing us to service that niche, okay? So listen, I have one more bonus tip. Hold tight really quick. This is one that most people don't think about. By niching down, you will get more visibility online through the search engines. Now, some of you may not be familiar with search engine optimization or search engine marketing or even digital marketing for that matter. But I can tell you that as a freight broker, you're going to need a website. And when you put your website up, Google is going to index that website. And when you search for your company name, you're going to come up in the results if you've done things right. But here's the reality. I did a quick search before we went live here and I searched, I pretended as if I were a shipper and I searched Google for the term flatbed. And guess what I came back with? 67 million results for the term flatbed, okay? So if you had your website and you said, hey, we specialize in flatbed freight, then all of a sudden, if somebody searches for flatbed, all of a sudden the, there's 67,000 results, basically 67,000 competitors potentially ahead of you in the search engines. But Lean in because here's the important part about niching down. When I searched for the term flatbeds in Buffalo, New York, all of a sudden there was only about 800,000 results. Now that's still a lot of results, but you see how the competition for the term flatbed versus flatbeds in Buffalo is eight times the competition, okay? So that's what I want you to understand. If you optimize your website, for your specific niche, you're more likely to show up in the search results. So those are the three tips plus the bonus. And listen, here's all I wanna share with you. If you're curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, and you're struggling to put it all together, A to Z, you're getting some misinformation from TikTok and you're getting some information from YouTube and from Google, and you want help, someone who's helped people build six and seven figure freight brokerages, check out my startup program, freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Trained over 10,000 students. We had that program since 2009. I've personally done over $200 million as a freight broker, and we offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee for any reason. So you can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com.